When Primer Pro Professional is installed to your PC, you will have two new icons on your desktop. One will be the Timer Pro icon, the stopwatch icon being pointed to here. The second will be the process analysis icon. If you only wish to do balancing and process analysis, you can select this option. Clicking on the Timer Pro icon will start the main program. As you can see, all of the menus are exclusively within Excel here. So if you're comfortable with Excel, you can immediately start working with the Timer Pro. We're encouraging you to, you to develop a file cabinet structure. The file cabinet structure is the option whereby you'll be able to organize your data. So if I create a new file here, I can call up and I can say it's a new company. And then within the new company, we're going to create a new folder called new company here. We're going to click on there. And we're going to create a new time study called assembly. And with the assembly, we click on the Create icon, and it will instantly create an assembly XLS in that particular location. At that point, all of the time study options will become available to us. Uh, the time study processing is prepared through this area here, and we use the templates that we see down at the bottom here. We download to the PDA via this option. We import back from the PDA using this option. We can import directly from file, and we generate any number of reports using the Generate Report option. You're also able to design your own report formats here. We give you a number of standard reports, and you do that, again, directly within Excel. On the right-hand side, you see the various options we have in our toolbox. The toolbox allows us to you can view the existing standard data libraries. We give you a selection of libraries, and you have full access to, to use them any way that you wish. You can create your own standard data libraries representing the activities that are going on in your facility. You can do Excel-based estimating using the data libraries. This is where you get to design estimate formats within Excel. And you can call time study data from any of your standard data libraries. Process analysis and line balancing. That's the same option as you get in by clicking on the icon on the desktop. It will take you into the line balancing area where you can do value-added analysis and balance by number of operators, require production, and specific tag time. Here you can access our quick times, methods analysis, and estimating, instant timer, which is just directly on the screen gives you a little time study tool that you can just take times just while you're sitting at your desk there. Sampling observation is required. This is where you can call up and based upon a certain average time, let's say 0.5, the expected minimum time, uh, let's say 0.2, and expected longest time, 0.8, it will tell you how many observations. Sorry, 0.8. It will tell you how many observations you have to, to get to get that particular de your desired degree of accuracy here. Um, over here on the left, active timesheet. That's where you can do in-cell timestamping. And if you have a pack for that as well, um, as a pocket PC. And down here we have the application flowchart so that you can remind yourself exactly where you are within the process.